This is the lower end of my 4.2 liter Yamaha outboard, 300 horsepower, and today I'm going to do a full water pump replacement. The impeller under this housing rotates in a clockwise fashion. Uh, I like to use a Sharpie and mark the housing itself so I know which way to uh, rotate the shaft when reinstalling the impeller housing. You could test this yourself by rotating the shaft in a clockwise fashion. You'll see that the shaft will turn freely as long as your impeller is not messed up. Uh, and if you try to turn it counterclockwise, the bend in the impeller fins will want to uh, stop you from doing so. If you were just changing the impeller only, you wouldn't need to remove this front cover, but since we're doing the whole kit, it has to come off, and I'm using a 12 millimeter socket to remove these bolts. The bolts for that front shifter cover will need to be reused, but if you bought a full Yamaha water pump replacement kit, it'll come with new bolts for the impeller housing. Here I'm using a putty knife to pry up the impeller housing and uh, do a little bit from each side and be careful it's a plastic housing. It helps if you rotate the shaft uh, and the impeller and you'll see it come loose. With the housing off you could now see the bends in the fins of the impeller and if you could imagine the housing wall being there and pressing up against that while it's rotating you could see the bend in those fins. And we just slide the impeller off to remove. So just use your putty knife and pry it up. If you are reusing this uh, plate, be careful. Uh, you don't want to bend it when you remove it. If your wear plate's in good shape, you could reuse it, but mine has a big groove cut in the edge, so I'm going to replace it with the one that comes in the kit. The kit comes with new locator pins, so just use a pair of pliers and rotate the old ones out while pulling up. Remove the old gasket with a putty knife, and then I'm using a little bit of scotch spray and a little bit of carb cleaner to clean off the surface. The kit comes with a new woodruff key, so you could use a chisel to tap out the old one. I suggest putting the old wear plate in place temporarily so you don't have to fish out the key like I had to. I'm going to start the reassembly by cleaning off this plate seal and reinstalling it. This is the entire kit from Yamaha. It's, uh, let's see, 6CEW007801. Here's all the pieces that come in the kit. We give a parts listing, uh, but we'll go through it real quick. Here's the impeller housing, the stainless steel impeller housing. These are the two seals that go on top of the pump here. So we'll replace those. It's got two new locating pins, a new wood drift key. Got four new bolts for the housing that go in place here. Uh, this is the O-ring that sits on top of the impeller housing. Uh, this is the big O-ring that sits underneath the impeller housing. This is the gasket that sits under the plate, and there's the uh, full plate there. We start disassembling this housing. Uh, it's going to be pretty tight in there, and it's because when they assemble it, they use RTV sealing. Yeah. You'll see how they, uh, the RTV sealant, they smear a little bit around this side. We'll, we'll save this so we know exactly where to put it on the next one. Here I'm using a dental pick to remove all the old O-rings and this main one here, when you dig it out, there's going to be some residue in the groove that you want to make sure you clean out real well or else the old, new O-ring won't sit properly. Here I'm test fitting that O-ring to make sure I have that groove cleaned out nice, uh, but I'll probably do the final install of this O-ring once the stainless uh, warehousing is installed. Here I'm prepping new oil seals for the drive shaft uh, with a little bit of grease and these go in a particular way. There's two of them, uh, but they go in groove side up. The new seals aren't particularly easy to get in, but this 21 millimeter socket uh, helps out. You'll know you have them all the way in because there's a lip, a plastic lip, uh, that'll be exposed uh, that right where I'm pointing to here. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit more grease uh, in there and we're going to put the cover, has a little cover plate that goes on top of it that holds the seals in. And just line up the two pins and it'll snap and drop it. 
try again, and it'll snap in place. The factory used RTV sealant to keep the stainless housing, impeller housing in place, so I'm going to do the same. I'm just using the old one to match up exactly where they put it on. If you're going to reuse this housing and had to clean it off, just take a picture so you know where to put the RTV. I've already installed a new O-ring and now I'm lining up the tabs on that stainless housing and pressing it into the main uh, pump housing here. Use a little grease to reinstall this O-ring in the housing and press it in place. Here I'm installing the new locator pins and wood drift key that was included in the kit. The new gasket can only go on one way and then we're going to put the wear plate on next. OEM impellers only have the wood drift key cut onto the one side so you'll know top and bottom. Put some grease on the fins uh, of the impeller and on the wear plate and slide it down on the shaft. I'm going to grease the inside of this housing before I slide it down and remember you're going to rotate the shaft clockwise and then press the housing over the impeller. There's a little bit of Loctite on these bolts. Uh, just take care. It's pla these are plastic housings. You don't want to over torque them. And that's it for the water pump install. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, press the like button or subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you very much.